Andy, we know that networking is very important during job during the job search, and it's all about who do you know. That's how I found my first job in HR. I knew someone that knew someone that they were hiring and made me the introduction, and then I got the job. So in terms of that, what tips you have for job seekers, especially nowadays that they cannot go to any events, and all the events are webinars or Zoom interviews or other events. So what can how can they use networking? And some of them are very shy. Do you think that introverts is good time for them to network because they're not meeting in person? Yeah, I'm glad you brought this up. I mean, networking is critical when you are building your career and building yeah. your job or going out for your next job. I mean, like you, every, almost every job or business opportunity I've gotten in my career has come through networking, has come through connections, through relationships I have um, through my network. So I'm really big on that. And it does seem like since COVID hit and, and a lot of events got shut down, it becomes more challenging if you're someone like me who used to go to a lot of conferences and in-person networking events. But the truth is there's more opportunities than ever because of technology and social media and video platforms like what you and I are on right now. Yeah. It's so easy. Uh, so for me, and it depends on what industry you're in, um, you know, where you spend your time. But for me, I'm on LinkedIn all day, every day, mm -hmm. right? And I'm looking for those types of people that are in my target niche, the type of people I want to connect with. And I'm sending connection, custom connection requests yes. saying, Hey, I saw you, I see you work in this field. I work in this field. I'm interested in getting into that. I'd love to connect with you and learn more about what you do. Right. So getting those connections. And then my goal is always to get people onto, uh, onto zoom for a, for yeah. a short chat. Right. So if I'm looking for a job, uh, the thing I always recommend is figure out what's the, what's the type of job you want to get? What are the type of people mm -hmm. that you want to connect with? Go search and find those people on LinkedIn mm -hmm. or in other places uh, and then reach out to them and just ask them if they'll do uh, an informational interview or a, a virtual coffee, if you yeah. will, and get them on Zoom for 20 minutes or a phone call and just ask them questions about what they, you know, what they do, what they like about it, what they don't like about it, how they got there. Um, and you don't necessarily ask them for anything, right? You're yes. there just to learn from them. And people love sharing their experience and giving yes. advice and helping other people, right? The great thing about that is you're going to learn uh, about the job and whether it's something you really want to do or not. Uh, you're going to build your connections. You're going to build relationships. And as a bonus, there will be opportunities that come from that, right? You're going to have that conversation and someone's going to say, you know, here, actually, we have an opening right now. And uh, you might want to interview for it. You might want to mm -hmm. check it out. Or I know somebody who knows somebody who's hiring, like, like yeah. you mentioned with your opportunity. And the more conversations you have, the more of those opportunities are going to pop up. If you're not having conversations, you know, you're not putting yourself in a place to find those opportunities, right? Way, way, yeah. Wayne Gretzky, you said you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Um, so you've got to be out there taking shots, talking to people, having conversations. Now, you asked if you're an introvert, if you're shy, you don't feel comfortable. Um, first of all, you've, you've got to get over that. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and you've got to be willing to have a conversation. Um, second of all, we're not talking about walking into a conference room of 100 people where it's overwhelming. We're talking about having one-on-one -on -one conversations, which introverts typically are very good at. And second of all, you don't have to dazzle them with your uh, storytelling skills. This is about being curious and asking questions. So I always advise people, you know, if, it, if it's something that intimidates you, pretend you're a reporter mm -hmm. and you are coming in to learn as much as you can to write an article about that job or that company. And so you're interviewing them. They're asking, now don't interrogate them, but <laughs> yeah. interview them, right? Ask them questions. Just be curious, lead with curiosity, number one. Yeah. And number two, seek to add value and help others before they, before asking for anything. And when you do that, you're going to find that you make a lot of friends. A lot of people yeah. love talking to you. They're going to make introductions. Doors are going to open and opportunities are going to come your way. So uh, be intentional, reach out to people doing the things that you want to do, um, build those connections, lead with curiosity, mm. uh, follow with adding value, looking for ways to help others give to them before they give to you. Uh, yeah. And you're going to be successful as a result. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's very important to tell your story, what's your intent, and don't just go ask them, I need a job, can you help me? No, it's not, it's not a great way. You need to tell the, your story and what you can bring to the table and listen. Don't just ask questions, just listen, and people will share their stories. And thank you for sharing those and those tips. I very, really appreciate it. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Andy.